Hi guys and welcome back to this game! Today we are continuing the playthrough of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone depending on where you're coming from. This is actually the same day as the first video. I had to take a break to get some dinner. <laughs> I was having such a great time that I just wanted to come back and continue. So here we are. Without further ado, let's continue. So we just saved here, we are 48% in. We had just learned from Dr. Quirrell in Defense Against the Dark Arts how to cast the Verdimilius spell so we can bring back uh, what is hidden by, by the darkness, basically. Dang it. <laughs> All right, Verdimilius. Verdimilius! Or Verdimilius. Oh God, flashbang. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nailed it. I actually don't know which way I gotta go. This one? This one over there? I don't know. I really don't know which one is the way to- Oh, God. <laughs> which one is the way to progress- Oh, shit, Nuggets. Uh, which way is the way to progress the story here? Oh. oh no, I locked myself out. Crap. Can I load the state? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I'm sorry, but... I was terrified. I thought I completely missed... I don't know if I can come back for this, you know? Bless Duck Station for this option to have safe states and you can just instantly jump back into that. See, this is like a whole section and some snoring, whatever it is. Okay, let's let's go in here. Um, I have a decaf coffee with me, so you're gonna be seeing me slurping on that. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Hey, yeah, I like fun. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. Oh. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck. All right, thanks, mate. I love those. Flipendo. Flipendo. <laughs> this is so odd, mate. See, this is pretty easy. Oh. There you go. This harp. Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Yay! Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Oh, who's that? Looks like the inventor of the snitch. He was holding a snitch. Yes, please. Let's check it out now. Bowman Wright. 1492 to 1560. Famous for developing the golden snitch. <laughs> I knew it. And as I said earlier in the previous video, I, d I don't remember these cards. I've been skipping out on those for a long time. I always just listen to the name that they say what I just picked up and then I moved on. I never really went to the portfolio since I was a kid. So I haven't seen those and heard those texts in forever. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Round two. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. Will if do. you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, these won't take forever. Um. Can I squeeze through here? Yes. Yeah, the worst is actually that this one takes forever. Alright. Oh, 
<laughs> well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Thanks, Nick. Ooh, who's that? It's actually so cool to to hear them again. Cassandra Vablatsky, 1894 to 1997. Celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Hmm. Cassandra Vablatsky. Back to the dungeons we go. Alright, so we came from this door. We've been in both of these hidden places. Let's go down here. Now where is this leading? Ooh. Oh, there's another one. Do you think it's a third one? Might be, huh? Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun for you. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. Yes. Number if you three. Get them stuck in a corner. Come and see me. <laughs> Good luck. Yes, Nick. So this one had the most um, cauldrons, and they're slow. It's like. Oof. So this might be a bit tough. Could have just moved that one straight ahead, huh? Oh, fuck it. Just because I think the other one is easier to move, you know? Oh, there's another one? Oh no, I didn't move the other one all the way. Oops. I thought I did. Oops. <laughs> I was like, hang on. Wh wh where's the harp? Where's my harp? Well done, Harry. You've pushed all the cauldrons into their correct places. Here's a famous witches and wizards card for your efforts. Thanks, Nick. Ooh, is this Godric Gryffindor? Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see in a bit. Had some good dinner. I'm super full. <laughs> Godric Gryffindor. Nice. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Grumpy Tarzan. All right, now we can jump all the way back, right? <gasps> can I jump? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Excuse me. Oh, it hurt me again. Well, that's ridiculous. All right, we can just go back the way we came through all the doors and then then we can actually go through the other door. See, this is like extra content and getting three of these cards that I could have could have totally missed out on if I would have just straight went through this. And I think you cannot come back. I'm not really certain, but I'm just going to go save real quick. These magic books. All righty. Verdimilius! Verdimilius! <laughs> oh, what's this place? I think I have to come here anyway, so I'm gonna go talk to Nick first. Hi, Nick! Someone has been casting spells of the Dark Arts, Harry. It's all very peculiar, I must say. The exit to the dungeons is blocked by a horrendous set of curses. Dark arts magic, I'm sure. There are four curses and each must be dispelled before the door will unlock. Oh, wow. The actual curses are hidden around the dungeon. Once found, use your knockback jinx to dispel them. Giggling eyeballs. Beautiful. I... 
Oh man, I feel like this has really a nice vibe of magic to it. You know, it's a bit creepy, a bit weird, has all the cliche magic to it as well. I just love this, like floating eyeballs and cats and bats and all that kind of stuff. It's just very magical and kind of beautiful in a way, in its own way. But I think this is why I connected so much to this kind of season, you know, like Halloween season. <laughs> Point, 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 point. I'm here. Chug, 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 Harry. Ah, beautiful. What I don't like about it is that even this model, I can't really see, but even this model of Harry has blue eyes. Because it's inspired by the movies, not by the books. Although they put in peeves, it's, just, it's all a bit confusing. Whoa, Speak of the devil. Way, Potter. Oh, I'm pained, Potter, and you better watch out for me. For me? Young Potter, you're ugly, but what can we do? Everyone says you belong in a zoo. <laughs> if you look in a mirror, it surely will crack. The best thing to do is wear a nice sack. <laughs> Ooh, the giggling! So creepy. Ooh, alright. This is the moment where I always get confused. So we remember, and I will probably forget, that we have to go through the door here. First we go this way. Over the cauldrons. <laughs> Suddenly peeves. God, and there's not just a black abyss down there. Look at this. Who builds this? <laughs> Who built this place? Seriously. Uh, can I just drop down? Okay. Oh, nope. Drop. Let it go. Let it go, Harry. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, use this door, wherever it leads. Nipendo! 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 Whew. Oh, nice, I got points for this. Cool. I like getting points. And I like birdie buds, beans, and chocolate frogs. Life was simple back then. Spell number one is gone. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. All right. Okay, this is the big hall with the <gasps> beans. Haha, <laughs> debated. <laughs> he thought, ooh, there's a little child snack. This is confusing to me that he speaks that way. And in German, he's like, Flippendo! It's very, you know, secure and very, very sure of himself and very confident. That's the word that I was looking for. And now he sounds like a little chicken. <gasps> Flippendo! Flippendo! <gasps> Alright, I think we're done here, right? <gasps> no, what's this? Oh, dang, I haven't <gasps> been down there. <laughs> I slid up there. I think I haven't been there, right? Oh my god. Or have I? Nope, enemy spotted. Okay, how do I get down there? What's up here? Ooh, ah, this is where the blue eye is, okay. You can already tell with the blue lights and the blue particles that are flowing around here. Gosh, this is so intertwined. That's a lot of frogs. Flipendo. Bye. Now, which one will be next? 
Burp. Burpity burp burp. Oh. oh shit. Well, how am I gonna get down there without dying? Is there a chocolate frog down there somewhere? Oh god. Oh crap, are we no? There's a chocolate frog, okay. Come here. Okay, these are not hidden rooms or anything, so... <gasps> Chocolate frog! <gasps> nice. Oh, sorry. I wanted to jump. <laughs> Wee. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, round, round, right round. So, we've been up there, we've been up down here, we've been, uh, what's this place? Why would you build stairs down here when there's nowhere to go? <laughs> I want to talk to the ar architect of this place. Flickering textures. A lot of classic. Alright. Now, back over the cauldrons. Yes. And now... Okay, so we remember we're done with the cauldrons. So we can... We just have to go in here and then we're done. I always... I try to make an effort now. Oh boy, yeah, this is where it's getting confusing. There's another cauldron! Alright, let me... Go up here first. I have a feeling the green eyeball is here. <laughs> nice. I always love that, this green light. I mean, it makes no sense that there's still a green light, but it's beautiful. Am I falling down here if I go there now? Oh, there's a safe spot. Sweet. Hello. Let me shave, please. Thanks. There's more of these beans. Hmm. I think you could probably not do this. Oh, 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 wow. Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh no, I don't need you yet. I'm gonna maybe come back for you. Oh, this is very slippery. I'm going, I'm going. Whee! Okay, I think I have to come back through here. Yellow, yellow eye. Whee! Yep, there you go. If you go too close to them, they're actually hurting you. And this is the same eye colors as in uh, the house colors. Oh god, camera going all... Uh, now, watch me. I'm eating this now and I'm probably gonna get hurt right afterwards. Or not? Okay, this is this is where I came from, right? Yeah, the twinkling uh, pillar or whatever. Oh, hello, froggy. <laughs> now is this more stuff to explore? Or what, what is? Oh shit! Oh my god! I think I just went in a big circle, didn't I? Now is there anything here? No. All right. I think this is just meant to be in a big loop, in a big circle. So you're not always going back and forth, you know, 
we're done with these already, so we can go back. Well, this is probably the most focused that I've ever been when I'm playing this. Usually I'm always getting distracted and... Yeah, come on. Maybe you guys are different, but when I can save, I am saving. Unless I'm playing old school Resident Evil games, because if you save, you have limited save resources in the game. Well done, Harry. Thank You've you. You've dispelled all four curses. Whoever put them there really wants to stop students exploring the castle. Oh my, look at the time. You've been down here for so long, the transfiguration class is about to start. Uh, don't be late. Professor McGonagall is head of Gryffindor House. You don't want to upset her. No, I don't. The transfiguration class is situated in the upper castle. You can gain access to it from Gryffindor Tower. Thanks, Nick. But first, we have to hand over the um, the beans to Fred and George. I don't know how many we have now. Maybe we have enough green ones. How many do we need? Oh, 80. That's great. Oh, look, there's even more. And now we're dropping down from here. Perfect. We should go back to the castle. Hang on. Is this the portrait room here? Yeah, the portrait room. So now we can d directly hand over the green ones. Man, and they still haven't received the yellow ones from me. They're like, bruh, what? Hey, Harry, have you got those green every flavor beans? Huh, <laughs> nice work. I do. The password for the portrait is Wanglewort. Is that actually a word? Wanglewort? That sounds odd. Well, you heard him. Wanglewort. Well done, young man. You've got the password. At least in here, you'll be safe. Um, what does he mean by that? At least in here, you're safe. What's this? Ooh, this is some Quidditch, um... Padding. Quidditch armor. Extra protection against bludgers. Useful for Quidditch matches. Nice. Cool. And we still have three to go, right? We've done Hufflepuff, I think. So there's still Slytherin and Ravenclaw to go. I think. We have 12 out of 17 of these cards already. So we're making really good progress. Now we can go back to the castle. The yellow ones, you have to go to Gryffindor Tower and then you have to go back to the main entrance place, I think, to, to the password to the, of the posh, the posh person, I forgot the name. Posh Baron? I always loved this as a kid that on the carpet he makes a different foot sound and then he goes on the rock. You know, the, it's the little things. As a kid I was mind blown by so many things. Easily impressed. What was with the audio just then? All right, uh, I need to get the password first. We're not going to Hermione yet. I'm going here for... Oh, I think they're inside. Hang on. Gryffindor come here. Draconis. Yeah, I think they're here. There. Thanks for the earwax flavor beans. The password for the portrait of the old posh baron is Fizzy Pop. As you pop. Hope you find the portrait. It'll be worth it. See you around. Easy. Easy, my boys. Alright, I don't need those... those frogs yet. No. Hey! Wingardium Leviosa! I put you up here. Bonk. Oh, this time I'm not getting any points for it. Great for you. Upper castle. Ah, oh, this was locked before. Exactly. That's why we couldn't go there. Ah, and there is Fred and George for the final beans. See, they're already showing that I have zero out of red beans. <laughs> Come to sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Anyway, we'll trade the portrait password for, oh, say, red every flavor beans? 
chili powder flavor. Hot as blazes. Sheesh. Can't go here, can't go here. I can literally just go in here, so. Transfiguration class. Oh, another one of those. All right, let's go. Oh God, they break so fast. <sighs> Dear Lord. Hi. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the transfiguration lesson. Transfiguration lesson. I love the way she talks. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Yes, Mum. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Yes. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Aviforce. Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. I'll try. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Very well, let's keep going. One more? That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Nice. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Yes. I follow. Welcome, Harry. First, Harry. use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. Right. Abby Fords! Abby Fords! It's a birdie! And now the table's flying. Well done, Mr. Potter. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the glass. <laughs> Man. I enjoyed school as it already was back in the day, but I think this would even be better. <laughs> like, this would be so much fun. Meanwhile, the house point hour glasses are slowly filling up. How much do I have? 95? Ravenclaw. Uh-oh. Hufflepuff. Wow, that was bad. Hufflepuff, come on, you can do better. Slytherin. Oi! Oi. Gryffindor. Oi, 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 oi. Now Slytherin is in the lead. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Nasty Slytherin. Uh huh. Fred and George are still chilling there, but everything is closed. I have to. Abbey I have to do this. Baba bird. La, 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 la. So which way do I go? Let me save. I don't want to lock myself out of stu stuff. 
My package, noise. <gasps> Peeves. It's Sober Party Potter. I've got your parcel, Potter. Want it back, do we? Yes. Let's have a chase through the attic, then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. Off we go, then. <laughs> Such a dick. <laughs> but first, what's in here? I don't know if I would be able to come back, you know? I have to go everywhere. Hello, Harry. Try and get ten every flavor beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. Okay. Thanks. Hi, kitty. Didn't I just rescue you from for Raymond? Okay. Nice. Well done, Harry. You collected all ten Bertie Bot's beans. Have this famous witches and wizards card as your reward. That sound a little bit this sound a little bit like the kitten just fell to its doom. <laughs> it actually can happen that the cat is jumping and it's too fast or you're dying and then the blocks haven't reloaded and the cat is just falling and falling into the doom that had happened to me before. Roderick Plumpton. Plumpton. 1889 to 1987. Seeker for England Quidditch team. Ooh. Holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three and a half seconds. Wow. But that's not only talent, it's also luck, right? You must have the snitch very close to you when the, the whistle blows. With the same conditions, I think other people could have done it too. Abby Fords! We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus just for you, Potter. Thanks. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter. I never lost against him, I think. Oh no, the bean! I thought the hitbox is big enough. Oh shit, oh, oh fuck, oh boy. I moved from, uh, from the, from the analog stick over to the D-pad now. So that I wouldn't wobble around, you know? Because I feel this is often an issue that you're you're wobbling around a bit too much. <laughs> oh boy! Oh god! They oh. Whoa. <gasps> oh hell no! Peeves, wait for me. I want all the beans, you know? Oh my god, I thought I'm, I'm falling to my doom just then. Cannot win. Ah, oh, screw the bean. <gasps> he might win. No, 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 no. No, he's winning. He won. 
Oh dear, little Potter, can't keep up with little peas, eh? Little legs not fast enough. This is fun! Let's go another round! I jinxed it. I said, I think I never lost against him, and then I, I lost. But this time I don't have to pick up the beans and stuff anymore. This is gonna make my life easier. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe this time I can win because... This time I don't have to focus on beans and other collectible shit. Shit. <laughs> Get out of my view, I can't see! Oh god, oh god, oh my god. Okay, deep head it is. Analog sticks just won't me- won't do me any good here. I swear to god. Don't smack me, please. Ooh. Oh, hex. Haha. <laughs> what the? You didn't jump. Why didn't you jump, Harry? We can do this. We can do this. We can do this, lizards. We can do this. Wow, peeves. I think peeves is stuck. I can't move. Oh no, I think the game froze. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, come on. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, it froze. <laughs> Screw you, peeves. Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> the way he just like <laughs> throws it down on the ground. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. Ooh. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. We're nearing the part which was my favorite in this game and So now... Ah! Ah, I started over there, now I'm here. Save, 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 save. So the thing was not that the game crashed, it was literally, um, you know, duck station freezing up or something, I don't know. The Forbidden Corridor. Was I supposed to go there just now? I don't think I was, was I? Oopsie poopins. I mean, why not? There's a book. There, it's meant to be used, right? Right after the... <laughs> oh, man. Well, now. Students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. Yes, Filch, you're and right. don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. No, you don't. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. Yeah, this is the part. The sneaky part. Sneaking around. This is... This was so cool. Man, I love this. Ah! 
on, Harry, climb out. Nice. Managed to do it still in time. He's using the secret passages. Look. Gotta go through this one. No. Yes, Mr. Filch, what is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans. Can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Snape is a little bit sus over there, huh? Alright, now just follow them? <laughs> Seems like it. Alright, let's go. <gasps> I'm after you! <laughs> Come on, climb out these massive, ridiculously <laughs> tall books. Okay, there's a the kitty over there. I want to be seen by the cat. And it's turning around, all right. Come on, hurry up, cat. Gosh. Well, well, well. We are in trouble now, aren't we? No, I'm not. I think. I hope. Oh, I have to start from the beginning? I wanted to give the cat some space, you know? I thought if I'm getting too close to the cat, then the cat will definitely, you know, see me. I didn't want to step on its tail, literally. I didn't want to get too close to the cat. I was scared that he would see me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Intruder! <laughs> ah! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Can I? I want to test this now. Okay, as long as I'm not on the ground, he doesn't see me. Good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Ha. Gotcha. Got the key. And I'm out of here. Anything behind me? No. Ooh. For a second I was scared, but it was just him using another corridor, hidden corridor. And what's this? Okay, this is where I need to go. Where's the key? Oh, down here with Mrs. Norris. Mrs. Malaka Norris. Do I have enough time to run over to Filch? Oh no, I don't. Okay. Now what? Is this thing respawning? Haha! -ha, cool. Hey, Filch! It's me! The, the sneaky... Ho this whole sneaky section, I always loved that. I played, um... Metal Gear Solid. Not far. The first one. I played that one. On the PlayStation as well. I never really got far. I just went to the, um, to the, through the tutorial pretty much and then the start of the game. I was too young and I couldn't really play that well. And that game was quite challenging for young me, but the sneaky parts. I really love that. What's this? Danger, do not enter. 
It really does sound dangerous as well. Storeroom. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. For what, Dumbledore? Oh, this part. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Oh, this is the place where we've been. Oh, shit. All right, all right, all right. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, so... Let's follow. Chocolate frogs. I mean, I don't need them right now, but... But I have the need, right? Taking them all, and I'm saving. Hell yeah, I'm saving. Okay. Uh, the girl's bathroom. Harry. <sighs> this part. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the face! Oh dear. Harry, you distract the troll, and I'll find Amani. Uh huh. Stomp, 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 stomp. Oh boy. Okay, so this part is so tough because you're running towards the bloody camera. Oh god. Right? You're not. You're not running away. You're running towards. And he's fast. Oh boy, he's fast. And, you know, me, I want to get all the loot. Okay. First round is done. Ah! Oh, shit. Give me froggies. Thanks. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's coming. He's coming after me with his club. Oh god, he's so close with his stompy stomps. Okay, next round. Ooh, oh shit. Oh my god, I wanted this frog. Okay, I'm taking this one. How was I supposed to get this one? Ooh. Oh crap, 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 oh lord. Alright, but we almost have... We almost have a hundred. Shoot, I thought I had this one. Almost, 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 almost. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Oh, I think we're done. Yeah, we made it. Are you alright, Hermione? Um. Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Alright. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. Toilets? Oh, uh... Hurry up, Ron. Oh god, he almost had a... Bonk! <laughs> he almost had a toilet on his head. Thank you, boys. The clapping. 
Nice, we did it. And he... Directly with his face on the ground. Ouch, that must have hurt. Bonk. It was basically a double hit. First on the head and then with his face on the ground. Now what's that? Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. Go, Ravenclaw! I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. Nice. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. <sighs> and they teleport me directly? I have beans to deliver, ma'am. I have a business running. Crap. Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last <gasps> year. Malaka. I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You I should get that, that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind, I'm off. <laughs> Bye. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Let's go. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw. Oh boy, they did the wrong thing, didn't they? This is a raven. Welcome it's Quidditch. it's supposed to be I'm an eagle. The commentator Lee Jordan. Jordan. The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two meters of each team try to keep them away. Harry Potter is once again My favorite. team seeker. In the last match against Hufflepuff, he caught the snitch to win the game. Yay. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Oh boy. Here goes Potter! Whoa. I love the cheering in this game. So cheerful. Bow, bow. A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? It is. Potter's seen the snitch! And he's yeah. showing off. The crowd is on his feet! Come on, Harry Potter! Oh, I'll try my close. very best. I'll try my Potter's very best. Gaining. This is amazing! Dodges a speeding bludger! I've not seen such flying! Amazing skill! Oh, that was close! Ow! Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! The bloody Ravenclaw Seeker. Give you wonderful. Ooh. I'm getting too fast. <laughs> oh god, the game is really. Yeah, he really is. Oh, that was close. It's it's because it's so choppy, you know. Potter takes the lead. Am I? Okay, cool. Ah. The game is rolling really choppy. I don't know what's going on. Amazing skill. Shit. Dodges a speeding bludger. Oh, phew. Thank God this is over. Potter's going for it. There you Potter go. Has the snitch. Well done, Harry! Woo! <laughs> I was always over, I don't know, steering or so? Because it was so choppy and I thought nothing's happening, but then a split second later I was all the way over there. Oof. 
I've got some bad news, Harry. Oh, no. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. Oh, no. We need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. Okay. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, when there aren't any in the castle. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get them. Makes sense that I have to come as a student. <laughs> I guess I have to come as a friend, right? Ooh, Diagon Alley. But still, I haven't had the chance to hand over the beads, and I'm so sad about it. They, they've locked me out of this. I should have gone back when I had the chance, right? I hope there will be another chance. We need three peacock feathers, oh one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some canuts, sickles, and galleons. Grip hook will see you right. I'm off to the leaky cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. I'll meet you when you're all done. Bruh, so he's sending me here for something that interests him. And he's having a beer. Well, <laughs> I'll do the work. Read note. Gone on holiday. Back next week. Interesting, Hagrid. Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir, <laughs> we're close today. Sorry. <laughs> causing a stir. I love that. <laughs> He loves owls. Okay, in this section is one of the parts that I hate the most about this game, and it's about the peacock, and you will see what I'm talking about when we get there. It's the worst. It's the freaking worst. Tell- I be believe- Harry Potter, yes? Oh! Uh, for three sickles- Sorry. Hmm, no sickle coins, eh? Try green- I'll come back. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot that I need to go. I was I was eager to s check everything out and read the notes and then <laughs> green gods, green gods, green gods. I'm coming. Sorry. Read notice. Gone to Paris for which which fashion show? <laughs> nice. We apologize to our customers for temporary closure. We are trying to locate our disappearing ink. <laughs> I like that this that he giggles a bit. Ollivanders, all right, and this. Magical menagerie. All right, and we notice closed due to family illness. Ah, oh, time to save. Let's go. Nocturnelli. Harry Potter, stay well away from here. That is Nocturne Alley. The shops down there deal only in the dark arts. Now run along before I turn you into a vole. Like to be a vol, would ya? Now run along. Maybe I'll turn you into a turnip and then eat ya for my tea. <laughs> like to be okay. a vol. I wanted to see what happens if I t talk to her again. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm curious. You know, we've gotta see what happens. Green gods, here we are. They don't even have a stamp in their hands. They're just stamping with, with their hands. <laughs> I always love that there's a little bit of a reflection. Oh boy, it's so shiny that you're sliding around. Hello? Welcome to Gringotts, Mr. Potter. To access the vault, you must collect all the forms and then hand them to the goblin outside the door. The first vault is on your left as you go through these double doors. Good luck. Thanks. To the left. There he is. Squeaky, squeak, squeak. Do you wish to collect some canuts? Canuts, yes. If you wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Move swiftly, though, or you will have to start again. All right. Oh God, the hitbox. <laughs> Oh boy, two more, two more, we can do this. This is very slippery. Nice. Okay, paperwork done. Now, the hard work. <sighs> My PTSD. This is... Alright. It's difficult. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Potter. I'll explain how to steer the minecart. Swing the minecart left and right using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the minecart to help collect some of the more difficult knuts. Knuts. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your minecart will reveal them. Collect as many knuts as you can to complete the level. The thing is, I never figured out what the point is of these diamonds and jewels. They never really explained that. Oh shit. Dang it. Can I just stay as I am? Ooh. Sweet. Oh, dang. I mean, oh shit. Oh. That was lucky. <laughs> I never, yeah, I, I never figured out what to do with these diamonds and, and jewels. I think they never really explained it. Oh god, this is fast. I'm just, by the way, I'm just holding down the X the entire time. Because if you don't do that, you're swinging around all the time. Okay, looks like we're done with the first round already. Oh crap. Wrong direction! Shit! No! <laughs> That's crazy. Sweet! Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Sweet. Care to have another go? No. Please return to the bank through this door. Thank you. Not another round, because I have also sickles and galleons to collect. That's gotta be plenty of tough. So which way now? Is it down here? I see you have a cannot coin. Do you wish to try for the sickle now? Yes. If you wish to try for the sickle coin, you must gather the correct forms again. Again. The correct forms. This way. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Which way? This way? Yes. Oh, ow. Ah. In the second game, this music is as well, but it's used for something else. And I have very fond memories of that part. And I'm looking forward to that, to playing that with you folks. Oh shit! <laughs> Noise. Squeak, 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 squeak. Round number two. Get ready. So I'm gonna skip that. He's he's just gonna explain it again, I think. So maybe I can skip it if I can. I will. Hello, Mr. Potter. I understand you're quite expert in the collection of knuts. Knuts! I wonder if you will prove as talented at collecting sickles. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles. Remember, swing the map. Yep. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks, mate. Alright. Probably now this way. Yep. Okay, this speed is absolutely manageable. Uh, I can't turn it faster. Ugh. Now we're going down. Let's get down to business. Uh, 
The thing is, every time you hit an obstacle, you'll, you'll, you'll lose some coins. That's really nasty. I can sense an obstacle. No? Yes. so fast. Oh god. Are we already there? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh shoot. Okay, we, we did it, we did it. If we don't hit anything now, we're good. Woo! Congratulations, Mr. Potter, you have succeeded. Do you want to try again? Oh hell no. <laughs> Please return to the bank through this door. Thanks. As long as you reach the minimum required amount, then you're good. You don't need to do more, I think. I don't think you get any achievement for doing more, so screw this. I always felt like this looks good and he looks like, like, like a normal child. But when I see the coins up there, I have a feeling, okay, maybe he's not supposed to be this wide. Maybe he's supposed to be more slim, because I stretch it to a full screen, in a way. But I think he looks like a normal kid, kind of. Or maybe it's just, um, yes, I'm used to it, you know, because I always played this now on a on a white screen, on a not square-shaped screen. Excellent. Do you have a sickle coin now? Do you wish to try for the galleon? Yes. If you wish to try for the galleon coin, you will have to collect the correct forms again. You're all in your forms. But I have to say, I really love the mini games in this game. Oh shit, which way? This way? Oh yeah. Oh crap, what? Come on, I thought I had it. <laughs> this is so slippery, man. I wonder if there's speedrunners for this game. Probably. It's the final coin hand. Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have famous. quite a reputation down here, sir. The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. Steering is still left and right on the directional buttons. Mm -hmm. The cross button lock. Yep. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them. Yes, there yes. are bonus gems hidden in Yes, we know. Sorry, I'm it's the same thing over and over, so screw that. Oh boy, they're very high up. Full gravity. No obstacles. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was. I mean, it's a bit slow, so it's fine, but imagine. We almost have the first one already done. Now, is this high up or. Yep, it is. Oh, come on! You wouldn't turn anymore. Okay, we have one already. One coin. Oh, now it goes fast. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat here. Oh, crap. Oh. You know, the first, the first two coins, they made them in a reach that you could just easily, you know... You would just have to stay, like, go forward, go normal, you know? Oh my god, he was almost not turning. But in this one, they made a- Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, this one is way more difficult than the other ones. Okay, but we might still be lucky. Oh, come on. Ugh. 
Mr. Potter, you have collected your galleons. Do you want to try again? No. Nope. You can return to the main foyer through this door. You know, I always keep the X button when I'm in the center because then it's easier to s swing left and right if needed. And they make it brutally, nastily difficult to steer back <laughs> once you're getting hit. You just like turn it around a few times. And you could tell, I don't know, they, d they didn't make it count that I was hit by both of these obstacles. Um, where's the exit? Is this the exit, sir? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Main hall. Yeah, there you go. You've collected all three coins now, Mr. Potter. I hope you spend them wisely. Three coins. Also, did I take them from my vault? Because am I giving Hagrid my money now? I mean, not he's rich as hell and stuff. I know that, but still. Did Hagrid just assume? Alright, now we can spend the stuff, right? I'm terrified of the peacock thing. Terrified. It's the worst. Wow. Talented rats you have here. Welcome to the magical menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. She knows my name. It'll cost you one galleon for the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. That's bad service. I've just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad has decided to hide under the boxes. Once you've found him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove the ward. Be quick, though. Having wards removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. Where the heck is he? I don't know who he is. Your airtime jinxes will destroy my shop. Start again and be more careful. But nothing would be jittering here. <gasps> there. Okay, downstairs. I was panicking because I thought the timer would be for all three wards. But it seems to reset afterwards. I'm not a fan of toads. I see you've collected your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye! Bye! Fishies! Alright. Diagonally. Let's go. It was it was weird. I felt like none of the boxes were really doing this hoppity hop thing. So I was getting frustrated with the timer going down. <laughs> oh, people. Hi, people. So what's this? Ollivanders. This is where I got my wand, right? Is this the peacock one? Ah. Mm. I see you have three nut coins. Feel free to collect your peacock feathers. My peacock lives in the yard. 
My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. Okay. This part is my nemesis. Where's this little malaka? So what you gotta do is you gotta run after him. And you gotta stand on him for some time. And he's literally all over the place. Okay. One more. I swear to God. Three of his feathers, eh? I suspected you would do well. I swear to God, this is the best that I've ever done in this. Ever. I usually rage at this point and scream. And I, I have to say that I actually might have used my, my wand out of frustration. Maybe one or two times. Wow. Damn. Dang. All right, so what, what, what's next? What do we need? The, the owl guy here. I, A loves Owl Emporium. Excellent, you have three sickle coins that entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from him. His treats are on the table in the Owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the Eagle Owl. Use the cross button to charm the Owl treat, and then guide it to the Eagle Owl using the directional buttons and the cross button to keep it off the floor. Once he's fed, he'll nap. Then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good luck, my boy. You know, as a kid I was like, cool, I have stuff to do, and I still think cool, I have stuff to do, but... It's also incredibly bad service here, right? Wingardium Leviosa! Nom nom nom. How many snacks do you need? Three? Wingardium Leviosa! What are these? Peanuts? Kinda look like peanuts to me. I kind of want to feed the other ones too. They look so cute. Wingardium Leviosa. Aww. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Don't don't eat the feather. Come here. Wow. Usually I feel like I'm spending forever and ever in this. But maybe it's because I have a better controller than I have on the actual PlayStation, you know? That might be it. You've got your feather, I see. Well yeah. done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio. <laughs> He's such an egghead, literally, though. Like, uh, look at his head. <laughs> Hmm. Obviously, nothing against people with a bald head or something, but he literally had like, you know, Hedwig. Well uh, done, Hagrid. Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Home again at last. Now we'll give the dragon tonic to Norbert. You okay, little guy? We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. 
I'm glad he's better, but sad in a way. Better. He's old enough to leave the nest and fend for himself now. Oh no! He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul. But I want to keep him here so I can look after him. Oh, story time. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert, his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Guys, I still hadn't had the chance to go and hand over my bloody beans. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. <laughs> Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. Pretty I better go, be Harry. Careful. That spoilt brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. <laughs> Let's hope. Okay, this part is really cool, but... I have to say I'm a bit... devastated about the whole thing with the beans. Like, when will I... You know, what I usually do is I go into the dungeons in the beginning. Um, I go into the dungeons, pick up as many beans that I need, and then I immediately run back and hand over the beans to Fred and George. And I hadn't had the time to do that. Now, you know, I wanted to like, I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to come back. Incendio! Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? Incendio! What? Okay, I think my timing was wrong. I was clicking the right buttons. Oak. You can see the, the silvery blood. How many of do one more? <laughs> One more. One more. Wait, I've done the yellow ones? Did I go back to the... Oh, never mind then. Okay, then it must have been... Okay, sorry, I must have... Frame breeze, I'm sorry. Come here, little baby troll. Bless ya. Oh, we did it! Nice, all of them. What am I? I must have been thinking that I haven't had a, one of the beans done yet, and I must have been thinking still of the yellow ones for some reason. I don't know why. All right. Ooh. I love this. Burp. Burp, pretty burp. Incendio. Nice. Cool. All right, which way? This is the way that I need to go. Here's the silver blood. But we're gonna go in here. This is extra content. I want the extra content, please. There's more beans. And a potion. And I love mixing the potions. Ah. Oh my god. Now I'm out of it. <laughs> I'm anxious. <laughs> I don't really need it, but I kind of want to drink it, you know? I, I mean... Also, who is observing me the entire time to give me potions? Uh, points, I mean. 
when I'm making a potion or when I'm, you know, removing anything like um, uh, spider webs or, you know. Who, who is watching me? Hello? Hello? I didn't hit. Dang it. Bonk. Weird concept, but <laughs> that's cool. That must have been a mass of tree ones. Look at that. Oh, I love the atmosphere in the Forbidden Forest so much. As a kid, like this was kind of creepy, but also super cool. Where's Fang? Ah, Potter. That oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous. I don't like how they displayed him so, you know, uh, confident here in this section. He was very, very scared in the in the books and in the movie as well, I think. Oh, guys, I'm scared. I have a feeling that this is gonna be over soon. I won't be having a chance. Incendio! But the, the, the point that they give me being still makes me think that I might, you know, might still have a chance. Maybe I shouldn't eat. Oh, never mind. <laughs> them from a specific angle and at a specific time. See? I knew I shouldn't have eaten that bloody chocolate frog. Ah, <sighs> dang it. <laughs> I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Anything. How I'll do. Promise. It's a forbidden forest, but as detention, <laughs> you have to go into the forbidden forest. Love the logic. Love it. What's this way? Oh, hello. Now what's through here? Chocolate froggies? That's it? Ah, another card. Ooh. There you are. That's a massive card. Okay, now it shrinks. <laughs> was like, whoa, that's huge. That's what she said. Rowena Ravenclaw. Rowena Ravenclaw. Rowena Ravenclaw. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Sweet. I mean, there must, there must be another more time. See, this is, this is it, right? I've, I've been playing this so many years. One, once a year. And I never noticed how restrictive it is when you don't directly go and hand over um, the beans, for example. And you go another direction first. Incendio! And follow the main story, so to say. Ugh, 
know the face. I've never seen it that well because I've always seen it in a very bad, you know, bad graphics <laughs> on a faraway TV. Oh, story time. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Nice. Firenze explained Ooh, that you and blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. Dum dum dum. Plot twist. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Vold, I mean, he must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh, I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. What is it? An umbrella? <laughs> oh, that flute is gorgeous. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. Oh, me too, mate. All right. So cute. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. Oh. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly, it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be Snape's after it. There are even rumors that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. But, you know what? I think... I think this is the American version of the game. They actually say Sorcerer's Stone here, so usually the English version is Philosopher's Stone, right? That's... That's a bit odd, isn't it? Back to... Oh, it says so, yeah. Did you see that? It says USA. Okay, so the red ones were in the higher castle, upper castle. There's three more that we can get. Of the of the cards, I mean. Mm. Done this. So we have to go to the upper castle to hand over the beans. Get the portrait. I can't really remember if I forgot anything. Maybe later on there will be more cards. I mean, there's not much left of the game anymore. Not too much, that is. I think I've been everywhere and done everything. Well, we'll see. Upper castle here. Wait, where is this leading? Great for year. I think I've done that. Every everything there, right? First, first, let's get the the portrait sorted. The thing that is giving me trouble with like orientating myself here in this area is that they reuse certain aspects of this map layout and and the rooms and everything in the second game as well. Nice one, Harry. You know, you've got the beans we needed. The portrait password is Wolf Spain. Thanks for the beans, Harry. We'll make sure they find a good home. In your belly. Have you heard the rumor? There's a troll on the loose around here. <laughs> Smells worse than Percy's socks. And that's saying something. You know, so sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, this this leads in this special specific location. And then it doesn't because this is actually happening in the second game. So um, this is not the portrait. Also, it's locked. So this way then. I think it was here, right? To this door? Yeah. To the portrait room. Ah, oh, the knight. <laughs> Wolfsbane. 
By Jupiter, you've done it, young Gryffindor! I have done it indeed. Now. What's this? Oh, it's not a card. Knockback Jinx Duo, an upgrade to the Knockback Jinx. Ooh! Hmm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. But that still leaves us with three more of these cards left. Ooh. Am I missing them? I mean, I'm not gonna try too desperately to get them all, but I think I've been everywhere. I mean, there's just 15% left of the game. Ooh. I've been in here. I remember this. And in the end, we came after the race with, with peas. We came out of there, so we're done with this. As well. Oops. Oh, I have a red, a red flipendo now. Damn! Come on, beam me down. Oi. And we're done in the garden area. I think I've went literally everywhere. So if anything is still missed, it must be here in this area. I just saved, but hang on. Harry, I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave, but promise me you'll be very careful. <laughs> Am I going alone? I leave every behind. No. Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Oh man, we've been doing so Ravenclaw. badly. Better than Ravenclaw, though, I think. Hufflepuff. And Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Oh shoot, yeah, Slytherin is definitely winning so far. Ay, 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 that's almost full. Gryffindor. Ah. Uh. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. I think I wasn't doing better than Ravenclaw. Is heating up. But I mean, in total, yes, but. Ay, 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 ay. Oh man, these eyes! That's terrifying! Only Hagrid would call this monster fluffy. <laughs> of course! Harry. Do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Yeah. Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful though, he looks ferocious. He does indeed. Ah! Um, how am I gonna do this? Ah! Oh crap. Lord, he's gonna kill me. He gonna kill me? Huh? It's not working. I was standing right underneath him. No, it works. Jesus, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I was so focused on hitting the right button. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, so dead. Bruh. I mean, can you not hear the music from- Can you not hear the music from the other side? Do I have to literally stand underneath you? Please don't bite me. Nice puppy. Oh god, yeah. One more hit and I'm dead. First death. First death. Here we are. <laughs> Shoot. Continue, please. I'm scared. Do they peri periodically just do the stompy stomps, or how does this work? Ah. Oh my god. Right. 
head number one is gone. You want to do the stompy stamps? Oh, what? Oh god, man. How do you prevent being hit? You're very sleepy. <gasps> I did it! Nice. <laughs> the sleep. Oh, ow! The lower. The poor lower head. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. <laughs> the Try sarcasm. to figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. We'll try. Uh, ah! Lul. Flipendo. Flipendo. All right, they always light up, but you can also just count the spikes that they have. Flipendo. 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 Now the issue is, I have just one hit point. So I have to do this baby hitless now. Do your Flipendo. Oh, now incendio? Incendio! Incendio! Are you kidding me? Oh god. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just said that that was buggy. <laughs> Come on, do your slap. Flipendo. Incendio. I think I always do it too early. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, don't fall on me. I'm standing there. Okay, never mind. Can you please give me some health? Fluffy was eating me. And I'm like almost dead. Please health, 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 please. Oh my God, please give me some health. Are you kidding me? You gotta Time be kidding to put me. Your Quidditch skills to practice. You gotta be kidding Good me. Good luck, Harry. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, I'm already in the air. Oh boy, this is like Quidditch, right? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. And he's, of course, making also these circles. How convenient. Oh god. Please don't hurt me. I'm, I'm very surprised that they didn't even bother to put a single chocolate frog in here. Or oh, Wigan Will Potion. Let me work for it at least. I'm willing to work for my for my health. I almost got you, little blue key.
I think if one of these red um, keys will uh, touch me, then I'm pretty much dead. All right. Nice. Yes! <laughs> it's so interesting for me that some things are going way better than they usually do, like the one with a peacock feather, and some things are going so incredibly terrible, like the one with Fluffy, for example. I usually never struggle with bloody Fluffy. <gasps> Chocolate frog. What is this? Ooh, a hidden place. Oh, it's a safe place. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're definitely very close to the end of the game, and I'm very sad about the cards that I've been missing. If you guys know which ones I missed, just feel free to tell me in the comments. I've completed so many things, I don't know what's going on there. Usually I always get all the cards, so I don't know what's going on here. So what's next? The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Oh boy, the chess. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry, but I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Of course oh, Ron, it is. are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Okay. Alright, I go here first. And then I move there. And then those two black ones are gonna move. I think if I go here, the one in the outer area on the on the left should attack each other. Yeah. Bonk. All right. Can I go back as well? All right. Technically, is it is that allowed in chess? I haven't played chess in a while. <laughs> is going back actually a thing? I don't think it is. I think you can go back. Nice! Okay, first chessboard done and dusted. I think there are three. So... Okay, I think I need to go here. Um, maybe this way? So, if I go here... Oh man, I don't know really. Maybe. Maybe it's this one. Boosh. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. maybe if I go back here now, they should attack each other. Now if I go this way... Bonk. All right. Easy enough. I think now comes the final one, and I think that is always a bit more difficult. Okay, I'm going forward, and then maybe I can go backwards a little bit to lure them to one space. Now, and if I would go here? I don't know if that will work. We'll see. Okay, this worked. Oh god, now I don't know, mate. Maybe this way? Oh. 
I yeah, that's bad. Maybe this way. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. Maybe this? I don't know. <laughs> Shite. Oh, the last one is so difficult. I don't know. I'm going to save it here with this. So I don't have to replay the whole thing again. If I fail. Maybe I have to go this way. I don't know. I have no idea. But this last one, it's not its not that easy, I think. No, this can't be it. Or can it? No. No, this is bad. No, nope. Yeah, the next move is gonna kill me already. This is crap. <laughs> and dead. Let's see. I can see. I see. All right. And now if I move here again. <laughs> All right. Now this one is making their move. All right. And now I move back here. Uh-huh. And now I move back here. <laughs> nice. That worked. Another hidden wall to maybe get some froggies. Nice. Although they do look like a toad. And I'm not a fan of toads. Actually, I'm quite the contrary of a fan of toads. I'm like... Buffonophobia, know what it's called. I'm scared of toads. So bad. Really bad. I'd say that's life. Use door. Now what? Sleepy troll, sleepy. Oh no, it's waking up. Hang on, it's still groggy. I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It better not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. So hang on a second. Ron? Charm all of these objects out of its way. Will do. Ron already knows Alohomora and Hermione does not. And nobody thought of this being a bit odd. Oh god, he fast. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh shit, shit, shit. Wingardium Leviosa. Gosh, who placed all the shit in here? Oh my god. Wingardium Leviosa. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh god, oh god, he's right behind me. Oh god, 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 oh god. Oh, bye! Ah, that's a big black hole. Alahamora! Now you know it? That was a close one. Let's see what's next. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what's next. <laughs> she said that very weirdly. <clears throat> Looks like you'll have to choose the cup that contains the knight and the shield. Did you see the symbol on the shield? It looks like an ice potion. Mm. That must be what we need to get through the fire. All right. was easy. <laughs> oh, drink ice potion. Oh, fancy. Fancy flask. Great, Harry. But there's only one potion. You'll have to go on alone, I'm afraid. I'm going to find some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry. Will be, will be. <laughs> I love that. Frosty Frost. Now what? Dun dun dun! Can I make another save? They're really teasing me now. With showing me that I just have 14 out of 17 of these cards. I thought I had more time. I didn't think this game is so short. Why? Th I don't know. This year. Feel like this is I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Oh crap, all right. Flipendo. 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 All right. Always wants to hit you. Um. Oh crap! Flipendo. 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 The whole castle's coming down. Oh shoot! Bonk! <gasps> it's... Damn you, Potter! But Master, it wasn't my fault. You nasty piece of work! All right, let's go this way. I don't really need this potion, but just for the, just for the lords. Also because of the nice music. Do -do -do -do. Fully healed and all the jazz. All right, let's save again. Ooh, it's a mirror. He has the stone. Uh -oh. Harry Potter, give me the stone. I know you have it. Uh -oh. Let me speak to him face to face. But Master, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. <laughs> Hand over the stone. So creepy. No thanks. Harry Potter. <sighs> oh no. Break ropes, break ah. ropes. Oh crap. Ah. 
dang it. Oh no. Oh my god, this is going really bad. Yeah, I'm super dead. Dang it! Really? Again? Oh god, oh shoot. He got really close really fast. Continue, please. God, really? Die, Potter. <sighs> Die, Potter. <sighs> oh, God, <sighs> come on, move, move, move. This bugger. Die, Potter. Are these pillars coming back <sighs> after some time? <sighs> How do I have heard him? Die, Potter. <sighs> Shit nuggets. Seriously, how do I hurt him? It's not the pillars, is it? How, how did I forget everything? the side. A few more, huh? And over the stone. No! You will heal to me, Potter. Oh shit, Very well, no. well. I promise you'll die begging for mercy as your parents did. That's nasty. 
for energy. Oh god, okay. Energy, 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 hurt, hurt, hurt. Energy, 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 Square! Oh, the square, oh, the square, oh, the square, oh, does it hurt him? I'm hurting you, you malaka. Come here, I'm gonna... Energy, 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 One more time. One more time. Fourth time's the charm? I don't know. Let's go. Bam! Eat this. He did? Well, for now. <laughs> nice! Epic end battle! Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. <laughs> the stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The Great Hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. <whistles> Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. Yay! It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch, or Christmas, or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. <laughs> Sweet. Argonaut Games PLC. Nice, guys. <sighs> this was good to play this again. So the next game that we will play as a YouTube exclusive will obviously be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm a bit bummed out that I missed three of these cards. Usually I find them all. I don't know. I must have been distracted. I must have been deep in my thoughts. And then I completely forgot about looking for... S I because it's three, it seems like it must have been a very specific area that I've missed out on. Although I had the feeling I was being, as always, very thorough and looked behind every hidden passage, every behind every shelf and everything. In the end, the whole playthrough is going to be the same. It's just you have all the cards, right? I had lots of fun with this, as every year, but this year I was very happy to have you along with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much, everybody who was here watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I hope you are excited for the second part, because I am. Thank you guys so much, and I see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!